situation at the Forge Pond Dam. Just a short time ago, officials in Freetown released new information. We're told the water may be at their highest levels right now. Well, what you're looking at right now is an aerial view of the rushing water, and you can see there it, uh, it looks pretty scary. And it's all been brought on by this week's heavy rain. Now, while there are no mandatory evacuations at this point, none are in place, the next 72 hours, we're told, are going to be crucial. Right now, we're going to work our live Pinpoint Doppler 12 weather team coverage. Meteorologist Michelle Muscatello has an update on the storm. But first, let's check in with Eyewitness News reporter Danielle North. She's live right over the Fall River, right at the line. We're in Freetown with the latest on the situation. Danielle? Well, that's right. We're actually outside of the uh, police department here in Freetown where officials inside, outside, they're all monitoring the situation here. Inspectors actually met this morning to assess the very latest at the dam. And as you said, there's no mandatory evacuations. However, several uh, area residents have voluntarily evacuated at this noon time. The status of the dam this morning is it's in a more precarious position than it was last night. State and local authorities have declared a state of emergency and residents near the Forge Pond Dam have been asked to voluntarily evacuate. The dam is deemed one of the most unsafe in the state. Right now water is overflowing in several areas. Water is flowing around all the sides of it. It's, there's a tree in the middle of it and now there's water flowing underneath the roots and as we all know that roots are what hold soil intact. Those roots go that tree tree goes, that's another whole section of this. This morning, dam safety inspectors and environmental officials were surveying the current integrity of the 300-year-old dam. They're not only concerned about this structure, but... Further downstream, uh, there are two other dams. The Monument Pond Dam, which is also in an unsafe condition, and it is also a high-risk dam. Parts of the roads nearest the dam have been closed off and state and local officials will be meeting later this afternoon to determine if any work can be done on the dam to minimize the damage. At this time, we do not see indications that a catastrophic failure is likely. Um, uh, however, we always plan for the worst, hope for the best. But and safety officials tell us they have not brought in any heavy equipment yet to work on that dam, fearing that they could make the situation even worse. We are expecting another update this afternoon from local and state officials. We, of course, will have the very latest tonight, live at 5. For now, we're live from Freetown with the Mobile Newsroom. I'm Danielle North, Eyewitness News. Well